Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with a guide to how to raid high level monasteries, which I'm about to do with my crew right here. So this is a clip from when I was level 85 power and raided a level 160 power monastery in Lincolnshire. So almost double my power level. And you can tell when I get to the enemies, you'll see the red skull icons on the enemy health bars, indicating they are much higher level than Eivor. Reminder to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and get tips and tricks for this game that you won't find any place else. So if you're low level and finding it hard to complete raids to get the raw materials to upgrade your settlement, I have a couple tips for you. First of all, is use Throwing Axe Fury ability, which I'm about to use on the next small group of enemies. Boom, boom, boom. So Throwing Axe Fury is a melee ability, but it's almost like a ranged ability because you can take out enemies who are a short distance from you, and it almost has an AOE effect an area of attack effect because you're attacking enemies around you and you're weakening them to allow the members of your raiding crew to also take them down. So you'll see I'm just used throwing Axe Fury. I weakened those enemies and now you can see my raiding crew is helping me take them down. So this throwing Axe Fury ability really helps you work as a team with your raiding party. So that's the number one tip. Number two tip has to do with the raiding party. And let me jump a little bit ahead. So this is later in that same raid of Menhamstead Abbey in Lincolnshire. So when I open this door, oh wow, there's a bunch of enemies inside. So I step out to kind of regroup and decide how I want to approach this. Meanwhile, my Jomsvikings just run inside and start wailing on those enemies. I mean, look at, they're, they're taking out these enemies like candy. There's the one with the spear, and then the one with the flail and the berserker armor, just like demolishing the enemies. And they kill all the enemies, high level enemies, before I can even get inside. So I just have to go in and loot and pick up the raw materials, which is pretty amazing. So. This taught me an important lesson, which I'm passing on to you. One of the big tricks for raiding high-level monasteries is to recruit a strong raiding crew. And that means being smart about recruiting your Jomsvikings. So I'm going to go into more detail about what I mean by that. And obviously when I'm talking about recruiting, I'm talking about preparing for the battles. So this next tip is about how to prepare for the raids. So here I am back at my settlement at Ravensthorpe, and this is where you can find a Jomsviking to recruit. And you can not only recruit them here, of course, you can recruit them any place you see that helmet icon on your map. So there's a bunch of other cities where you can also recruit, but the easiest is probably um, at your settlement and it costs 100 silver each time. Now, should I recruit this Jomsviking? No, <laughs> I'm not going to, because this doesn't look like a very high level warrior. Now, how do you tell if they're high level? Well, there's a high level warrior who's already on my crew, and you can tell because she's wearing high level armor. So that armor you can only get from the Helix store, and when you buy armor from the Helix store, it automatically starts at the Mythic tier. Just like the armor I'm wearing now, although that's from the Helix store. I got it for free because that's the Carolingian armor you get when you link your Ubisoft Connect account with your Amazon Prime account. And so you get it for free. But anyway, when you get armor or weapons from the Helix store, it's automatically at the highest tier. So you want to look for Jomsvikings that are wearing that high tier armor. So these are the ones you get by default. This is your raiding crew that you start with, and they have very low armor, very low weapons. 
But when you get the community Yams Vikings, like this one has that same armor I'm wearing. So this Yams Viking was created by someone who also got the Carolingian armor and equipped it on their Yams Viking. And so now this person is on my raiding crew wearing that mythic armor. Here is the Berserker armor that another one of my Yams Vikings is wearing. So this is the highest tier armor that I got for free. I actually don't own that armor and I don't own this armor. This is the Valkyrie armor, I believe. So I have raiders on my crew wearing high level armor that I don't even own and I didn't even buy, but another gamer did and I was able to recruit their Yams Viking. So that's the key is to look for Yams Vikings wearing high level armor and then recruit them. And sometimes it can be hard to tell what weapon. Oh, and here's some armor that this is the Brigadine armor. So this is from the game. This is in-game armor. This is not from the store, but you can tell this is mythic tier because of all the gold. So there was gold on the front and gold on the helmet. So that's the other thing you want to look for. You want to look for armor from the store like this set or armor from the game, but that has gold on it. So that means whoever owns that Yams Viking has upgraded their armor fully. So it's going to give them more protection and they're probably also going to be equipping high level weapons onto that person. Why is that important? Well, the better weapons your Yams Viking has, the more damage they can do and the better armor they have, the more damage they can take. So if your crew has better weapons and armor, they're going to be able to be more powerful when you go into these high level monasteries. Reminder to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and get tips and tricks for this game that you won't find any place else.